I'm down here. Face down. And I have no arms, no legs. It should be impossible for me to get back up. I mean, you go home and tie the legs and arms of your brothers and, and sisters. And, and like, push them down. And see how long it's going to take him to get back up. You know what I mean? You know, you can tell him that you'll see him tomorrow. You know what I mean? But this is the thing. It should be impossible for me to get back up. But it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone. And I want you to know that I found my strength in Jesus Christ and you're going to find your strength in whatever you find it in. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up like this. Did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you, I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs and I wish I could do this, but what can I do? You see, I have a choice. And that's what I want to talk about today, choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. You see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. But I had to ask myself a couple questions. And the first question was really, who am I? Who am I? I'm Nick Vujicic, but who is that? And it's funny how the friends around you sort of determine who you are. You change yourself. You come to school. And everybody swore around me at high school, so I started swearing. Why? Because it's the cool thing to do. Everybody swears. So I don't want to be left out. And I want to be accepted, so I started swearing. You go to a party, everybody's drinking, so you drink. Why? Well, everybody else around me is doing a big deal. And you start losing yourself and you start putting your security in temporary things. You start putting your happiness in things that won't last. You can get drunk all you like, but in the morning, you're going to be sober with a headache with the same problems. You want to be high the rest of your life on drugs? Everybody say, don't do drugs, don't do drugs. Well, why? Why do we even go there? It's either out of curiosity, peer pressure, or trying to escape reality. Basically, three things. That's why we go to drugs, sex, alcohol. Why do you do it? Because it feels good. Okay, that's how we're doing it. I mean, if you want something, you go get it. You want to buy something, you save up money, you go get it. Why? Because that will make you happy. And we take these steps in the wrong direction that will actually take you away from your dreams. Oh, don't worry, Nick. Drugs and alcohol won't take me away from my dreams and my purpose and sex and all that. No. I tell you, it actually will. Because you go to a level of drinking and you go to a level of drugs and it's not enough. You'll find that out. And then you try something new. And then you'll also go to school and people will put you down and parents will tell you that you're a failure because you failed at a test. And you start believing the lies around you, saying that you're not good enough and no one's going to want you and you'll never ever do anything good in your life and you'll never ever you know, achieve, the, achieve the dreams and goals that you wish you had done or wish that you could do. And these steps take you closer 
that voice saying, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, and all you need is one more step to fall. See, you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today.